breaking news out of San Francisco, he was just found dead. The sanctuary city of San Francisco, California has become the epicenter of liberalism with the justice system only catering to the criminals to serve their agenda. This became clear two weeks ago when a five-time deported illegal alien who killed beautiful Kate Steinle on the pier in front of her father in broad daylight, was acquitted of murder and sent free. The shocking verdict came on the heels of a massive immigration debate and resistance from city leaders to comply with President Donald Trump's travel ban. Now, one key person in this ongoing debacle has just been found dead overnight and it's being called a case of karma. Since the justice system failed Kate, it turns out that she may have gotten her revenge from beyond the grave. While her killer was unfairly given freedom, there's no escaping death, the ultimate equalizer. The liberal mayor of the sanctuary city who is against our president and seemingly couldn't care less about Kate when he has an immigration point to push, has been found dead overnight at the age of 65. The Los Angeles Times reports. San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee who led the city during a development boom fueled by unprecedented tech wealth, died early Tuesday. He was 65. Lee's death was announced by the city in a statement. No cause of death was immediately given. It is with profound sadness and terrible grief that we confirm that Mayor Edwin N. Lee passed away on Tuesday, December 12 at 1.11 a.m. at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, the statement said. Family friends and colleagues were at his side. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife Anita, his two daughters, Brianna and Tanya, and his family. Under Lee, San Francisco saw a crop of new high-rise buildings, and the city gain enhanced status as the global capital of the tech industry. But Lee also became a magnet for criticism as rents and property values soared and many residents of moderate means said they could no longer afford to live in the city. This sudden turn of events comes two weeks after the shocking verdict for Garcia Zaret, a 45-year-old Mexican citizen who was released from San Francisco jail before the killing despite a federal request that he be held for his sixth deportation. He, was charged with murder, and prosecutors gave the jury the option of convicting him of first-degree murder, second-degree murder or involuntary manslaughter, according to SF Gate. Just last week, Kate's memorial in the area where she was killed, was dismantled and who ordered the destruction of it is almost as shocking as the reason for taking it down. Independent Journal Review reports. A memorial to Kate Steinle, the 32-year-old Bay Area woman shot and killed while on a walk with her dad, has been removed by the city of San Francisco, and the reason why is a stunner. On Thursday, Jose Inez Garcia Zaret, was found not guilty of murder and involuntary manslaughter in Steinle's killing. Instead, the jury only found him guilty on the charge of being a felon in possession of a firearm. Garcia Zaret, a seven-time felon and five-time deportee, was in the U.S. illegally. People brought flowers, cards and other items to the Steinle Memorial, which sprang up around a bench on the pier where she was killed. But now, the shrine has been removed and the people asking for its removal are the biggest surprise. CBS San Francisco reported that Steinle's parents asked for the shrine's removal. San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee's spokeswoman Deirdre Hussey said, The Steinle family placed a request with the mayor's office for the bench to remain as it was intended, a simple memorial in recognition of Kate and her spirit. While the family asking for the removal of the shrine comes as a surprise, it was essentially the last amount of control they had over preserving her memory based on what was happening at the spot dedicated to her. According to the San Francisco Chronicle, the request for removal of the adorned bench was because a self-described alt-right group was responsible for putting it up. About 50 candles, along with red and white roses, were seen Friday where Steinle was shot and killed following the conclusion of the trial where her alleged shooter was acquitted of murder and manslaughter charges. The memorial had ties to a self-proclaimed alt-right group, who appeared to have started the shrine to Steinle. The political group responsible for decorating the bench in her memory is Call Identify Evropa who may have had a different purpose for using Kate's death, which the family didn't want their beloved daughter's memory being intertwined fault with.
The notes on the poster that became part of the memorial said build the wall and Steinel's death will be avenged, IJR reported. However, the backhanded issue, was that San Francisco really wanted it removed citing an arbitrary violation of city policy. Officials told the examiner that the memorial violated city policy. San Francisco typically removes memorials within 10 days of the victim's funeral service. Steinel's funeral took place in 2015, CBS San Francisco reported. This was likely brought up after the group who made the shrine had called for a boycott of the city of San Francisco. Perhaps the stress of everything in his city caused more stress and complications for him than he even realized. It will be interesting to see what happens in San Francisco after his passing. May Lee rest in peace and our deepest condolences to his family.